In this lab, you take on the role of a product manager or a DevOps engineer, someone wanting to release new software into a development environment. The code is already available in the microservice, but it's currently turned off behind a feature flag. Now, of course, we're unsure, or you're unsure, of the impact that this new feature may or may not have on the microservice, and thus the potential user impact. So using Dynatrace, it's your job to ensure the new functionality does not cause any customer facing impact. If it does, you need to gather the evidence of this impact. You of course need to mitigate the impact and then make a go or no go decision based on the evidence that you've gathered. Finally, you need to provide this feedback to the stakeholders about your decision. To achieve this, you will have to enable the new feature by changing the feature flag run a load test, and then at the end of the load test, an event will be sent to Dynatrace, which signals that uh, the load test is finished and it should begin a Dynatrace workflow. This Dynatrace workflow will trigger a site reliability guardian to judge the key quality indicators of your service. At the end of this lab, you will have used feature flag based releases. You will have enabled new functionality of a microservice using those feature flags triggered a load test, which then automatically triggers Dynatrace to act. And of course, you'll understand the mechanisms behind all of this. You'll have created a Dynatrace workflow and a site reliability guardian. The site reliability guardian will use both static and auto baselined thresholds. You will have trained the automatic baselines of the site reliability guardian, and then in observed the impact of the feature flag on your software quality. And of course, as I say, come away with an evidence-based decision for a go or no go. Now let's dig into the mechanics of how this actually all works. First off, you will create a Dynatrace site reliability guardian using a, an inbuilt template. This template tracks the golden signals for application and service health. It uses static thresholds for latency and auto adaptive thresholds for errors and traffic patterns. What that means is it continuously learns and adapts from the real time, real world signals from your application. Next, you'll add an event trigger at the end of the load test, which automates the site reliability guardian via the workflow. You'll need to train and enable the baselines of the guardian so that it knows how your service behaves under normal conditions. You do this by running the guardian five times. Now in a real world scenario, this of course would happen naturally over time, but for demo purposes, you need to trigger these runs one after another together to enable the baseline in this demo scenario. Next, you enable the new functionality by adjusting the feature flag. This changes the behavior of your application, of course, and it does so instantly at runtime. As you do this, an informational event is sent to the service in Dynatrace, which allows human operators to see the change that has been made, when it was made, and by whom. The change record also indicates the new feature flag value. In short, all the information operator needs to understand why service behavior may have changed. When the service is using the new functionality, you again trigger a load test. This repeats the process as we described before. The load test runs, the finished event is sent to Dynatrace, the workflow triggers and the workflow triggers the Guardian. However, this time, the Guardian detects an increase in the error rate, and so the Guardian result is a fail. Your application error rate has been impacted by the feature flag change. You now have the quantitative data in Dynatrace to prove that the feature flag that you changed did in fact cause this issue. You can then roll back the change and obviously remediate or fix the issue. This fires a second informational event into Dynatrace to tell everyone that you've rolled back the change. And of course, your application behavior returns to normal. You've enabled a feature flag and sent contextual information to Dynatrace. You've used OpenTelemetry and Dynatrace to make an evidence-based analysis of the new software quality and functionality. You've automated the change analysis using the workflows and site reliability guardian. Of course, you noticed an impact and remediated it. And most importantly, you've protected users by automating this analysis in a development environment. Now, of course, you could repeat this and probably should repeat this in production as well. 
finally, of course, as we say, you've made the go or no-go decision, in this case a no-go decision, based on the evidence provided by OpenTelemetry and the Dynatrace Site Reliability Guardian, and you can pri provide all of that evidence down to the stack trace and the line of code to the stakeholders and the developers to prioritize the fixes. The Dynatrace platform, Site Reliability Guardian, and workflows have provided visibility and automated change analysis into your release process.